year is quickly approaching for CMS families. Students will go back to school on August 25th, exactly two weeks from today. Wake Up Charlotte's Kendall Morris joins us live in Kendall with that first day almost here. Parents want to know how schools plan to keep their children safe and avoid another shutdown. Yeah, Sarah, that really is the big question surrounding this upcoming school year. CMS detailing its plan last night at the Board of Education meeting addressing the COVID-19 situation and all the issues surrounding it that students may be facing. It's back to school for CMS students in two weeks. We plan to open and operate schools as close to normal as possible. It comes as COVID-19 hospitalizations across the state continue to rise as the highly contagious Delta variant spreads. We believe we are prepared to open schools and keep them open. Our one factor that leads to our confidence is the availability of effective vaccines. CMS requiring universal masking indoors. Students who test positive for COVID-19 must quarantine for 10 days. However, if a student is masked and symptom free, students who are close contacts no longer have to quarantine. That is a, a significant change and um, one of the pieces of information that I believe helped this uh, help inform this board on the recent ruling to require universal masking. CMS still has teacher, bus driver and nurse vacancies heading into the school year, proposing recruitment incentives to fill the positions and as students return to the classroom for in-person learning. CMS acknowledged it will take a multi-year recovery effort to make up the learning that was lost amid the pandemic. We are focusing on students and instruction. We are doing what the Board of County Commissioners criticized us about. The district looking ahead to helping students get back on track in the new school year. Now, also of note, the superintendent said last night that vaccines will not be required within CMS at this time. It is highly encouraged, and several schools will be hosting vaccine clinics in the near future. Live in Uptown, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte. And perhaps the most telling thing them talking about is going to take years to recover from something like this. All right, Kendall, thank you.